now we have learned a lot about data flow right so in data flow or in apache beam we will going to like get two important terms everywhere and these are p collection and p transform so what is p collection in apache beam right so in apache beam a uh, p collection which is actually a short form for parallel collection it is a fundamental data abstraction that represents a distributed and potential finite infinite collection of data right whatever the data uh, we are going to use and we are going to uh, apply p transform uh, transform on it is actually the p collection p collection is a key concept in the beam programming model and serves as the primary way to model and manipulate data within a beam pipeline right now some key points about p collection are like if we talk in with respect to distributed data then a p collection is designed to handle data that can be distributed across multiple processing nodes or machine in a parallel and scalable manner each element of a p collection can be processed independently in parallel right with respect to immutability p collection is immutable meaning once it is created right its contents cannot be changed however you can apply different types of transformations which uh, in apache beam are also known as p transforms to create a new p collection based on the original data and with respect to elements a p collection consists of elements where each element is a unit of data elements can be of any data type including simple types like integer strings or complex types like custom objects right so this was a, a definition or a proper way of how what is p collection and the what actually p collection plays how a p collection actually plays important role in data flow or apache beam now the second term comes here is what is p transform the transformation which we are actually applying on the p collection to make a new p collection or new data is the p transform so in apache beam a p transform which is a short form for parallel transform is a fundamental fundamental building block that represents a processing operation or transformation applied to one or more p collections to produce a new p collection p transforms actually it encapsulates the logic of data processing and are the primary units of composition in apache beam pipelines if we talk about the key terms about uh, p transform then with respect to abstraction for operation p transforms provide a high level abstraction for expressing data processing operations they encapsulate the details of parallelism and distributed allowing, allowing developers to focus on the logic of their data processing tasks reusable components then p transforms are designed to be reused or reusable components once defined a p transform can be applied to different p collections in various parts of the pipeline promoting code reusability and modular design which actually makes uh, the code more simpler to understand right input and output a p transform typically takes one or more p collections as input and produces one or more p collections as output the input and output types can vary depending on the specific p transformation so p collection is something which is actually a we can say it as a collection of data or a data set in simple terms where we actually apply different types of transformations which we term it as p trans uh, transforms so that we can extract different types of or a new way of uh, uh, data according to the application which we have created or the user right